Hey y'all, it's me, James, and today I'm going to go over uh, a blade, a DE blade that I've used a long time ago when I got my first uh, DE sample set. Well, not that long ago, but when I first started shaving uh, with the DE blade. And that was back in, I don't know, January 2012 ish something like that maybe even before that maybe it was January 2011 well anyway <laughs> whenever I first started um, and that blade is this one the feather I used probably oh I don't know maybe two maybe three blades at most back then and Starting out, it was really sharp to me. Uh, the razor that I would have been using it in at that time would have been the Mercure 34. Uh, so, not an aggressive razor by most people's definition, but not the mildest either. Considered a pretty decent entry level razor to use. Um, but I realized that the blade being as sharp as it is probably wasn't the best blade to probably sample from the get-go. Uh, it's kind of weird because it almost seems like I'm wet shaving stocking people. I know Rico just did his uh, blade thing that he's doing on this. Um, it just so happened to coincide with me starting my cycle for this blade this week on this. Uh, Four shaves is what I'm going to go for with it, uh, so we'll see where that goes. I'm thinking I probably should be able to. Um, I know a lot of people with heavy growth, coarse hair, some have commented that they can only get like maybe three shaves with this blade, but I'm thinking I'll be alright. Um, the other thing I'll be using... is the Samogue Special Edition Owners Club from 2012. This is the Boar Badger Mix brush. That's what the hair type is on that. So that's been soaking for a while now, probably about 10 minutes or so. Um, I just finished washing my face. I got a couple days growth here. The soap I'll be using is going to be the Dapper Dragon Tello number two, mm, which is that coconut lime ver verbena scent. Mm. Okay, so I've washed my face already. Um, here's the new blade. So I'm going to unwrap this. And if you've seen Rico's video, uh, you'll know that there is wax on this blade but the wax is not on the edges so that's a plus um, the other two blades that I used over the past uh, couple of weeks or so that I got in this last batch that I, I ordered these ones particularly these were ordered from a guard razors um, there we go So the wax on this is right here near the middle, which was the same that I saw it on, I think it was the 7 o'clock yellows. So the 7 o'clock yellows and the Gillette Silver Blues were new to me blades. I had never used those before. And each of those performed quite well. Now a lot of people go to the feathers and they like them a lot. And then there's the other hand that sharp but drops off quickly. So for me, a little bit more experience under my belt now. I'm going to see where it takes me to. Um, so yeah, excited about that. 
So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pause and I'm going to go ahead and uh, wet my face again just to kind of keep it hydrated throughout the process and load the blade up. I'll be right back. Thanks. All right, I'm back. So first things first, I'm going to shake this water out of the brush. The hair should be plenty soaked and hydrated. I'm going to empty out the water that's in the cup that I've been using and go ahead and pour the water that's been sitting around the puck into here. If I need it, I'll dip and use it. So, another thing I want to do is start out a little bit drier. So just squeeze in the knot, get all that excess out, and now just going to load up. Not a, any pressure, just letting the hairs glide across the top. And I'll be face lathering today. Alright, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to wet up just a little bit. Proto lather is becoming creamy. All right, so I'm going to go with that. Wet my face again. Be right back. And there we go. Just get off a lot of this standing water, and here we go. I left water in that orange cup just in case I want to add any. The backbone in this is wonderful. It has a slightly scritch feel to it, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't feel like the new uh, horse brushes, in my opinion, which are kind of prickly until you get them well broken in. And even then, they still have a little bit of prickliness. But this, it doesn't have that same prickly feel to me. Alright, so I'm going to incorporate just a little bit more water, but that looks amazing. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Alright.
there you go lots of sheen on there there's definite definitely moisture in the lather set that in there the razor I'll be using the Edwin Jagger 3D14 Okay, so here we go. Very nice. Everything feels pretty smooth. And pretty much this is has been with the grain. All right. So I'm going to rinse and lather up. Be right back. All right, I'm back. And here we go. So far, it feels like a one pass. Still have a high quality sheen to the lather. Should have probably used uh, the bug instead of that mug, just because that knot is thick. All right. Couple little weepers. All right, I'll pause and I'll be back after I lather for third pass. All right, so lathered up. Here's the brush, and now for the final pass with the feather, DE Blade, in the yellow packaging. Alright, I'll be back at the end. Thanks. Alright everyone, it's the end of the shave with the Feather Blade. And I gotta say, it's a close shave. You know, I don't go against the grain hardly ever, um, just because I don't with any blade. Um, so just going off of some hybrid across um, across the grains, and the only place I kind of go against the grain is just barely. I try to take it light at the lower part of my neck, and. I will say that even though it's close, um, it didn't feel as comfortable as the Gillette Silver Blue. Uh, the Silver Blues are 
to me felt really comfortable using and plenty sharp enough for for me uh, to where I felt like I had a really nice shave afterwards. I feel like I have a nice shave stubble wise um, but the Allen block was telling me hmm you were probably a little bit closer than you thought you were in some areas uh, whereas I didn't get that feeling with the silver blues. So again that's for the feather blade and uh, also uh, this is going to probably be out after everything happens, but Rico was doing the thing with, uh, I guess, the mystery soap thing. And Rico, I just want to thank you uh, uh, for letting me co-sponsor who you are going to give it to. Um, I think it's one of those things that uh, is really cool that you're doing with your giveaways, no matter what they are. The whole mustache thing and everything like that. I don't think anybody would have got that, not at the level that you were talking about it, <laughs> uh, as far as the character. Um, other than that, thanks again everybody for watching, and y'all guys, uh, guys and gals, um, have a great day.